So I wasn't gonna film today. My parents were like, film, 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 and I was like, no, I look literally disgusting. And I'm really not in the mood to film, to be honest, but we're having so much fun demoing the house. Demo day, as Chip and Joanna say. Um, that I decided, you know what, I have to pull out the camera and film this. <laughs> Even though we all look insane, but we're ripping up the wood floors right now. In the process of remodeling it to sell the house. So this is the new wood that we have right here. I think we uh, all stacked up, ready just sat it down. to be put on the floor. Yeah. Audrey does have pants I mean, on. They're just V short. Yeah, there you Okay, so we finished pulling up all of the wood and underneath is some glorious uh, concrete that has, what has it done? The floor level, or you know, the original concrete. They had to pour this to level the floor to make it more level so you could put the laminate down. And when we had a water leak from the fireplace, it reacted with this and- Tore it up. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, that's what we're doing, but we have, or we're planning on going to get sushi tonight. So loud. We're planning on going to get sushi tonight and go see Dunkirk. Yay! Because we've been wanting to see that for a while. So, after hard days, hey, night. I haven't seen a movie literally in the theater since the last Lord of the Rings. When was that? Harry Styles is in it. Oh my gosh. Oh my These bags are pretty, pretty bad. Teamwork makes the dream work, baby. All right, so do I look more presentable now? I would say so. I wanted to show you my new Paramore shirt because Audrey got it for me for my birthday and I actually messaged her and I was like, hey, should we get this shirt? Like, it's so cute, it's limited edition. They only made a thousand of them, but we'd already gotten their other limited edition after laughter t-shirt. So Audrey was like, no, we shouldn't since we already have the other one. And I was like, okay, um, you're right, we shouldn't. And then she surprised me in the mail with this t-shirt for my birthday. And she's so sweet. I'm so happy. So this is what it looks like. This is my little OOTD for the day. I have on the Paramore t-shirt. I just rolled the sleeves and then did a front tuck, but not a back tuck. And then I just have thrifted jeans on and these old like Oxford slide on shoes. from seeing Dunkirk. I'm gonna go around the room and everyone's gonna tell you what they thought of the movie. I thought it was really good. It definitely wasn't what I expected it to be. Every shot, every scene was so beautiful and well done. I don't know, I just liked the filming style a lot. My mom pointed this out. She was like, I'm so surprised at how much they got across with saying so little because in the movie, like they literally have such small amounts of lines little dialogue, but yeah very little dialogue but it was still so good and you still like felt everything and like followed the story really well so anyways Audrey what do you think are my lips like so glossy I loved it I knew I was gonna like it because everything I've read online is like Christopher Nolan is the best it was just really good I'm a um, war 
film person, so it definitely appealed to me and I liked it. What do you think, Dad? It was a very unique film, which is good. I, I can't say that it would be one of my top five. I mean, I don't put it up there with Saving Private Ryan or um, Braveheart, but at the same time, it was a unique film and I think it told the story very, very well. It was, I, Audrey, it was a very British film, was it not? Yeah, it was so It was British. reserved. I mean, it wasn't gory. It wasn't, there wasn't a lot of language. So, I mean, not very super emotional. pretty. Yeah, so I think in that sense, it was a great film now that I think about it because it was very British. It was good. I mean, it was easy to understand. Um, and it was interesting how they dealt with each other because they were coming off from different backgrounds and different areas oh, yeah. of the different wars and different countries. And It's like you just wanted when, them to be home so yeah. badly. Yeah. When they looked over and, oh, and the captain did such a great job and he stayed behind till the very end yes. and then he looked out and there was all these little black spots and he was like, what do you see in there? It's like, he's, he said, I see home and it's mm -hmm. all these little mom and pop ships coming to yeah. rescue them. So I love, awesome. I love the fact that, that the, yeah, the, the two iconic things that you think about when you think about Britain and World War II, you think about the Spitfire and you think about the Navy and they were so well represented. Well, actually with the Navy it was the civilians, but I mean that they stood strong in the mm -hmm. face of overwhelming odds. Anyways, um, it was, yeah, such a good film. Definitely recommend going to see it. Also, another bonus, it was so cheap. Like $16 per person, $16.50 is what it costs in New York. And it costs us each five dollars to go see it. Anyways, I'm gonna let you guys go and I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, buddies. Love you lots.